Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome back to CodePipe. We are designing backend for our e-commerce Django website. In the last section, we have created the product page. In this section, we will add discount prices to this product. So let's get started. But before moving to adding discount, let us correct something from our product page. Let me show you what. We have all our colors and all our sizes from our main product. Let me explain using this picture. This is the main product and all the different products which will have different sizes and different colors will be product variations. So what we are doing is we are getting all the colors and sizes from this main product and we are displaying them on this page color here and sizes here. Now what is happening is as we can see black color is selected. We have size small. Let's go for size L. We are getting a shirt with size L, but if we select size M, we are getting this page not found error. This is happening because if we see our backend, if we look for product variations, here we can see we have male Hulk t-shirt black small and Hulk t-shirt black large, but we cannot see any black t-shirts medium. So that's why we are getting this error. To rectify this, what we need to do is we need to somehow check for both of these things. If we are getting this color, all the product variations with this color and all the available sizes we should get. And if we are selecting size, we should get all the product variations and only the colors that are available in those variation. So this will be some kind of interdependence on both of this. Let's go to views.py and change this quickly. This is our product view in get context data. We are using two list here colors and sizes. So before that, let me make a logic. Here we are using all the product variations. We don't want that. So we will comment this out. Under here, I will write a new line that will be product color variations and these color variations we will take out using the product name to which the product variation is connected and the size that is selected. Then we will look through all the color variation products and inside that we will take out all the colors, which means now we will only see colors that are available for that particular size. Let's change this to product where we can delete out these two lines. Let's do the same for size variations. I will use this line here. Also, I'm taking out all the product variation. I'm filtering out using the product main name and also the color that is selected. So now we will have all the sizes according to this color. Let's change this. Change this value here. Now this should be good. Let's try out after refresh. We can see some changes. If we are selecting L size, we don't have orange color and here we can see in black, we did not see any medium size. So here we are not listing medium size. If we select S that is small, we will get the product in small. We are still not getting the red because in our backend for our small and large, we don't have any red, but we have red for M. So let's check it out for this quickly. Let's go to men category page here. Now we will click on this men, which is in red color. We are getting the product and here we are getting the color red and we are not getting any sizes because we only have single shirt in this single color. With this, our product page is completed. Now we will get sizes that are available in this particular color and we will get colors that are available in this particular size. Now we can move on to add discount prices to our products. Let me again take help of this diagram to show you how I'm going to implement the discount pricing. We already have deal offer and discount classes, which are models and using these three models, we can provide discounts, but we have not attached it to any model yet. So what we are going to do is we will attach any of these model into the main product, not to the product variations. By doing this, we are automatically making all of these product variations that are inside this main product as a discount product for that. Let's go to models.py of product. 
so this is our product model here i will add three fields one for offer one for deal and one for discount and it's up to the seller which one he wants to select let me quickly do it the fields will look something like this all of these will be foreign key to the respected models we are keeping this null and blank so that we will have a option of not keeping it on discount all the time we are getting some kind of error here so i will cut all of these models and paste it above this product model so here we have deal offer and discount we will cut this go above product model and paste it here now we should not be getting the error and we are not so let's make our migrations python manage.py make migrations we can see we have added the three fields to our model let's migrate them manage.py migrate and all the migrations are done now what we are going to do is whenever we are saving this product and if there is any discount or offer we will automatically apply this to all the product variation of this product for that we will override the save method of product model let's scroll down under here i will define a new method save it will take self it will also take args keyword arguments first of all we will call the default save method that will save all of these other fields i will call super product giving self dot save providing arguments and keyword arguments copy paste this should do all the default things that a save method should do now we need to define what we want to do first of all i will take out all the product variation of this product using this line let's scroll down give it some space with this i am having all the product variations where product name is equal to self dot name which is product we will see if there are some product variations so we will use the count method and if there is even one single product variation of this product we will loop through all the products in the product variations that will be a list now this is a object of product variation so we can check if the main product of this variation is on sale or not if the main product is on sale which will be product variation object dot product on sale this will give us a boolean object which will be true or not if it is true which means the product is on sale main product is on sale then we will take out discount price which will be getting from get discount price of product variation object we have not defined it yet which we will do in a moment now this discount price can be in float because we will be deducting some percentage like 10% off which will be deducting 10% value from the main price so it can be a float for that we will test if it is a float or not and we will convert them into integer like we did in a previous video with our ratings so let me paste that same code we will check if this discount price is float we will use this mod f to split our decimal let's say we have 12.5 so we will be splitting it 12 and 0.5 and what mod f will do is it will give this 12 after 0.5 so when we are using this zero here we are actually getting 0.5 so we are checking if we have a number which is less than 0.5 or more than 0.5 if it is less than 0.5 we want it to be a lesser number like 0.0 if it is more than 0.5 we want it to be 0.1 we are doing that using floor and ceiling methods and if the discount price is not float we will directly use price is equal to discount price now we have this discount price which we got using a method which we have not defined and we will put this in a field which we will define in a moment in product variations so that will be product dot discount price is equal to price so we are using this price into product variation object dot discount price this was all when the product was on sale but if the product is not on sale what we will do is 
we will use this discount price and we will put it equal to product dot price again this is product variation and the price will be equal to discount price because there will be no change in the discounted price and finally we will be showing this discount price on our product page on the cart and everywhere so it makes sense when we are putting price is equal to discount price and at the last we will save this product dot save so that we are at least providing something in our discount price we need to provide this discount price and get discount price in our product variation so let's go to our product variation model which should be right here and here i will provide a field that will be discount price and this will just be a small integer positive field we are keeping it null and blank let's also define the method of get discount price here so below this number method let me define get discount price it will take self the logic we are going to use here is we have our product here connected that is product so we will check this product if this product is on sale we will check whether it has discount it has offer or it has deal if any one of that is there we will deduct the percentage from the main price and we will put them into the discount price so let's do it under this method first we will get product which will be self dot product we will check if product is on sale which will be just product dot on sale now we are trying to get percentage of discount that a offer or deal may provide so let me use this if else statement which will check if this product has discount it will take out the product dot discount dot discount if it has deal it will take out product dot deal dot discount if it has offer it will take out product dot offer dot discount and discount is just a field with some number and if nothing is there then it will take out zero which means there is no deduction of price so here we have our percent now let's deduct this percent from our main price so i'll use this first i'm using a variable which will be price reduced so i'm just taking out percentage or some amount that will be deducted from sell dot price let's say we are getting 10% deduction so it will be 10 by 100 into the price of this product variation this will be amount that will be deducted from the main price and for the final price we are deducting this reduced price from the main price which will give us the discounted price and finally we will return price now this is when if the product is on sale if the product is not on sale let the else statement we will return self dot price which means if our main product is on sale we will check out the percentage we will take out the reduced price that will be reduced from the main price and finally from the main price we will deduct this reduced price and if the product is not on sale we will just take the self dot price as i said we will be providing discount price on all places so we need to provide final price value to our discount price field this can be little complicated to understand it right away because of its interdependability on each other which means product and product variation are interdependent on each other to get the discount price now we have our get discount price method which we will again use in our custom save method which is right here and here i'll just use self dot discount price is equal to self dot get discount price i am not using any if statement here because finally we will be getting some value from this method which will get us discount price now you might wonder we are getting this discount price here as well as in our product model where we are doing save we are also providing the discount price we are doing this on two places because if we are creating a main product maybe at that time we are not providing any discount or anything but the seller decides at a later time that i want this main product to be on discount so when we are modifying this product object 
it will use this save again and at that time we will get all the product variation under this to be on discount and the other scenario can be like we have a product on sale and we are adding a new product variation object so whenever we are adding a new object variation we need to check if the product is on sale or not if it is on sale we will get the discount automatically if it is not on sale we will get the main price so because of these two scenarios we are saving this on both the models now let's quickly make our migrations we have added discount price to our product variation let's migrate them manage.py migrate migration supplied let's quickly run our server and check on our admin page let's go to products let's try to add discount to hulk t-shirt that is in men category if we go down first of all we need to make it on sale and let's provide an offer that we don't have so we will add one offer let's say 10 percent end season discount price is 10 percent let's skip the image for now before saving this let me make a duplicate of this go to product variations we have this hulk t-shirt let me check this and here we can see price we have but we don't have discount price and let's go to our product again let's save this product hulk t-shirt was changed and if we refresh this we can see there we are getting discount price of 43 rupees so just like this if we are going to change any product offer or deal on the main product it will be reflected on all the product variations now also let's test the second scenario where we are adding a new product variation save and add another product hulk t-shirt we can leave them blank color will be red size small let's keep a price of 50 or let's say 100 save this male hulk t-shirt red small was added and if we check for the discount price here we are getting the discount price of 90 rupees which we did not give manually but using the get discount method in our save we are automatically getting the discounted price so our second scenario is also working and let's finally change our template for this product page so in our product page.html where we are showing the price here it is so instead of showing the product dot price i will show discount price and also we are using this product dot product dot on sale which means if the product is on sale we will say discount price of actual price so instead of this manually written i will say product dot actual price let's save this and check our browser let's refresh here we can see we are getting the price as 43 and we can also see a line which says actual price is 48 we are saving this much money so this is how we can implement discount prices on our product variations with this i think this is a good point to conclude our video i hope this was helpful and informational give us a thumbs up if you like the video let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you are coming on the channel for the first time don't forget to hit the subscribe button push the notification bell to not miss out any videos we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios